Hi guys, very happy Sunday to you all. Um, right now I am 13 and a half, about 14 weeks out, and today is my refeed day. Um, just want to give you guys my weekly update. So today I weighed in, I've been in prep officially for about a week and a half now, and it's kind of confusing because I started prep in the middle of the week. Um, about a week and a half ago and I'm a little off with how many weeks out I am because I'll be arriving in Chicago midweek and we compete on a Friday so that's why my count is a little bit off but it's about 14 weeks 13 and a half weeks out and I have yet to type up my update to my coach however he did give me feedback from last week's check-in so we'll start with that um, he decided to keep macros consistent, training as far as cardio is the same, no change. Um, just because I had the deep, or not the deep tissue, but I had the massage uh, last week or almost two weeks ago and he wanted to let my body kind of adjust to that as well as like right before my check-in I had done some cauliflower fry rice and had a little high sodium the day before I took my pictures, so he just wanted to give my body a chance to acclimate to the prep. So he kept everything consistent, and when I weighed in today, um, I've dropped, over the course of the week, I've dropped about 0.6 pounds, so about a half a pound um, in this week of prep. Haven't increased cardio at all. Um, my macros for training days are still 140 grams of protein, 180 grams of carbs and 55 grams of fats um, and I feel good on those actually I've I don't experience a lot of hunger lately except for on my lower body days my leg days I notice I'm a lot hungrier obviously um, you know it's a larger group of muscles that I'm working out versus upper body so that's where I'm at as far as um, training. Weight training still the same. I'm still increasing weight on my power lifts each week. Cardio is still three sessions of steady state for 35 minutes and then two hit cardio sessions. This week I did, um, what did I do for hit? I did sprints for one session and then did hit cardio on the art trainer for my second one and then I did two sessions on the bike for low intensity and then one session of just uh, on the art trainer a kind of a moderate resistance and incline so as far as how I'm feeling lately training wise like I said strength hasn't really been affected however um, I was in a lot of pain this week and I think it's just because I did a hit session on Sunday for last week's training and then I trained Monday through Friday straight through all cardio, all weights and the way that my training kind of panned out was I had a heavy leg day on Monday after my refeed day and then upper body in some way shape or form was Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I had a lot of tension in my back and my shoulders and I was really achy. Um, and then I did legs Friday. But what I ended up doing was taking a lacrosse ball with me to work and at any time that I, you know, was feeling pain or stress at my desk, I would put the ball behind and kind of roll back and forth on the chair. And then also um, when we had our morning meeting, everyone kind of just stands around. So I hung back and then like rolled out my glutes and my IT band against the wall. Uh, everyone there knows what I do so they had no issues with it um, but yeah that's what I had to do and then my boyfriend helped kind of stretch me out and kind of dig into those trigger points as well and then his sister she works she's an athletic trainer and she just flew in yesterday and she's been helping me with a lot of mobility exercises and different things that she has her athletes do so that's helped out I also have my sports massage scheduled for Thursday if we don't get snowed in. Uh, the East Coast is about to get hit with some heavy snow, supposedly. 
So luckily we have some equipment here at home. If I have to do training at home, if we get snowed in, I can still stay on my training. Um, I do hope to get to the gym after work tomorrow though because I need the leg press and um, some other equipment. Also this week I've booked um, my hotel for the national show which is kind of early but I just I didn't book with the host hotel I actually booked with a hotel down the road um, I have a hotels.com account which if you guys aren't familiar with it there are certain hotels on there that have like secret prices or certain deals that um, came out better than what the show promotion code was and better than what a military discount would be or a government rate and so I went ahead and booked my trip my, my stay in Chicago at a hotel down the road um, and then I also for the very first time um, booked a hair and makeup artist where you know I've always just done my own and um, a few people were talking me into doing this kind of for myself as a treat um, I haven't been on a national stage in three seasons I've always done my own hair and makeup why not just show up and have to or not have to stress out about that so I went ahead and did that got a good deal um, with the hair and makeup artist for the show I'm really excited um, okay so how do I feel overall something I noticed this week was that I don't feel like I'm in prep which sounds a little odd yes I'm killing it in the gym yes I have lower macros than what I had on my reverse diet However, compared to my last 13 shows, this prep does not feel like a prep because I'm still fitting in food that I want or that I'm craving. Like for example, today being reefy day, I had lower protein, higher carbs. I've had Reese's Puffs, I had steamed shrimp, mac and cheese, um, Pop-Tart, cake, protein bar, um, and I'll have my French toast and ice cream and it's been like that pretty much every day even yesterday being a, a rest day I still fit in a pop-tart um, so it's a little strange that I'm able to do this but I really am enjoying it and it helps I think mentally as well as physically I obviously still make smart choices I have high volume low calorie foods in between all these treats um, and another thing is as far as my cardio, I'm not killing myself with two and a half hours of cardio every single day at, you know, 14 weeks out, which in the past was something that was just standard with prep. I'm not wearing a waist trainer for eight hours a day. I'm not being told to, you know, put on lotions that are going to tone up my skin and help me sweat and, and, you know, all this other stuff. So it's a very different experience for me. And what I notice on social media with uh, competition se season kind of beginning to be in full swing and people starting their preps is that that guilt that I used to feel for not being perfect on plan is not there this time. You know, I have the, the liberty to choose what methods of cardio I want to do as long as I'm doing the 35 minutes of steady state and the 25 minutes of hit, whatever method I want to use, treadmill, bike, you know, battle ropes for hit, whatever, I have the freedom to choose, which is great, instead of being told exactly what to do. Um, so I think that's another thing that, that allows me to feel a little bit more empowered on this prep. And I feel bad, um, I feel bad seeing these women, particularly old teammates of mine on the old team I, I left, feeling guilty about, you know, a binge that they had on the weekend or falling off plan and, oh, I promise I'll be perfect this week or Monday I'm going to start over. You know, it doesn't have to be like that. And I just want everyone to know out there, you don't have to feel like that on prep. Um, this is a personal goal, a personal challenge. It's, it's, it's something you should enjoy. Yes, there will be obstacles. Yes, you will have challenges. But I don't think you should mentally beat yourself up the way that I see some of these women on social media. So that's just my public service announcement for today. Um, 
I just want you guys to know that I really am enjoying this prep so far. Yes, I have days where I'm hungrier than others, but that's the lower body days usually. Um, but other than that, everything's gravy, guys. Uh, if you have any questions on kind of um, exactly what I do for cardio or if you want to see more of what I'm eating throughout the day, just let me know. If you haven't checked out my reverse diet edition of the full day of eating, check that out. It kind kind of gives you an idea of basically what I eat anyway because I have a lot of foods that I just consistently buy and prepare throughout the week. Um, yep. So I'll see you guys next week for my update. And please, if you have not subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and follow me along. Again, this is my first prep. It'll be my 14th show overall. Uh, first prep on flexible dieting though. So thank you guys for watching. See you next time.